Hey guys, Sir Craig with Mario here, back with another video in this video today. I'm going to be drawing a character that belongs to an AniTuber channel known as Anime Uproar. Um, this, uh, me drawing this character is pretty much just like a, you know, a thank you for, um, um, him featuring quite a few of my, uh, fan arts on his channel, so I wanted to just, uh, draw this little character for him. It's, uh, the character that shows up in his icon on his channel. But uh, yeah, the link to his channel will be in the description below. His channel is really cool, so definitely go check him out. Uh, yeah, I've been working on this drawing uh, on and off for uh, quite a little while now. Um, when I originally started, I wanted to just finish in like uh, two days or so, but it seems like every time you go and try to do something like this, it's just like all this other stuff comes up. But yeah, I um, right around that time, I kind of got that deadline on when I needed uh, when I needed to get the volume done for Arms of the Dragon, so I really need to hustle as well as some. Um, Pack stuff that uh, really set me back for, for money, so I had to try to get more chapters out um, to be able to pay this stuff off. But yes, I, w I'm, I was finally able to um, <laughs> finish it now, and um, yeah, I've been posting every once in a while like little updates on it from when I first started working on it to finally right now finishing it. But uh, he 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 would already have the illustration by the time this video is up, so. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll just talk a little bit about the illustration just in case anyone's wondering, um, you know, what I'm doing here, how I drew it, how I painted it, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I pretty much just, I did a rough sketch, then I did a final sketch, um, with, you know, just normal pencil tool of your choosing. I mean, there's no, like, crazy cool pencil or anything, but, um, then I just did a... Uh, the line art with a low, uh, like almost half density brush, which I think I'm going to start changing the way I, I do that because Procreate has a weird thing where if the density is turned down, um, I, you can't do the dropper. If you go to drop a color in, it won't drop it in as you saw. I had to color um, a radius around it and then drop it in to fill it in. And that actually takes a little bit more time than normal, and I'm not not a fan of that. It kind of ruins the flow a little bit for me, especially if it's a more intricate drawing um, with a lot of little details. So you end up having to do like all these little lines inside and filling. It's, it's pretty pretty hassle, pretty much. It's a big hassle, but this one doesn't actually have a lot of that. But um, one of the things I really did have a hard time with at first was I wanted to experiment with what I was doing with the background. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with it and uh, I ended up being pretty happy with it in, in the very end but um, I also didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with the swirlies but <laughs> basically I wanted um, the dominant light up at the top left and then I wanted um, something to kind of break that light that's coming down in kind of like a cross fashion across the uh, canvas from the top left and that break was supposed to be the um this like wind stuff coming up so there would be kind of like clashing of that and um in the very end you'll see that um a lot there's a lot of bright colors and he's the darkest color and when you look at it, I'm hoping that if you did look up at the brightest color up to the top left, it would bring you down. You would see all of, like, you know, this wind stuff. I remember it would eventually lead you to the darkest color that is him on the very middle of the canvas. Or if the very first thing you look at when you see this uh, finished illustration is him, that's also a good thing because these swirls will help you look around the canvas as well. But uh, yeah, I've, I've been working on like kind of trying to get a system um, with my painting to make it go faster. But this one kind of, um, this one, it was, it was tricky because a lot of the time if you don't know where you're going with it and where you want to go with it, like it, it can really hinder what you're doing, make it go a lot slower, the whole processed, processed. Uh, the whole process and um, 
yeah, I found, I found myself not knowing exactly what I wanted to do in this for a little bit, and it kind of made the process a little slower than it should have been. So I'm really trying to get down a painting process that's more set, so that way I can kind of knock uh, colored illustrations out faster. Um, but in any case, I hope you guys are liking this video so far. Um, that's pretty much all I got to say for now. I'll let you guys watch the rest of this video and I'll say a couple words at the end. Alrighty, the video is coming up towards the end here. Hope you guys like this illustration. Hope you guys like the time lapse speed paint process. Um, and yeah, if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Hit that bell icon to get notified when each new video comes out. And like always, guys, I'll see you next time.